Welcome, welcome to story time with me, Miss Sheila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today's story is called I Will Read to You. Just like what I'm doing right now, reading to you. So let's find out what it's all about. You played enough, my mother calls. Quit climbing trees and scaling walls. It's time for sleep. Come brush your teeth and I will read to you. So see the little guy? He's climbing up his wall and there's a tree by it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's exciting. Mother tucks me into bed. Let's pick a book we haven't read. Tell me what you'd like to hear and I will read to you. <gasps> Something spooky. I request it. Like ones with monsters best. Are you sure? My mother asks. Then I will read to you. As we read, the moon appears, a golden, glowing, ghoulish spear. Then a howl fills my ears. <gasps> the stories, they are true. I listen close and hear a bump, a roar, a growl, a hoot, and a thump. Shouldn't they all be in bed, this noisy, sleepless crew? Mm. So you see the owl there? So that made the hoot. <gasps> who tucks in beasts? Who cares for them? My mother sighs, not this again. No one does, for beasts are beasts. Now, can I read to you? But they need love and comfort too. How would you feel if it were you? I rise and take my mother's hand. I know what we must do. Oh, <gasps> so he's dressed up. He has a, looks like um, a robe with a, like looks like a monster we disappear beneath the trees as thorns and branches scrape our knees mother tells me go ahead I will follow you <gasps> look at she's letting him go all to the forest all by himself with his light and then she's walking behind Wow <gasps> on we go and farther still until we reach the highest hill. Worry not, my creatures dear, I am here for you. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And the moon is so bright up behind him. Come all vampires, come from the crypt, through the mist and shadow slip, curl up cozy in your cloaks, and I will read to you. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at all the skeletons. Skeletons, unearth your bones. There's no need to be alone. Rattle forth across the stones and I will read to you. Soar now, dragons, fill the sky. Can I share a lullaby? Tuck your tails and rest your wings for I will read to you. He has such a good imagination. <gasps> Ooh. Gather ghosts, float this way. Now that dark's devoured day, open up your haunted hearts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rumble giants, lumber, lumber here. It's just a book, nothing to fear. Said to me with thunderous feet, and I will read to you. Look at big hand for this monster or beast fly now riches on your brooms march now mummies from your tombs come on goblins ghouls and trolls and i will read to you <laughs> i look upon a sea of smiles they've marched and climbed and flown for miles and now they wait with anxious ears for what i've said i'll uh, for what I said, for what I've said, I'll do, which is read the book. As I begin, they close their eyes and snuggle up. It's no surprise, for books and bed go hand in hand. This I know is true. Look at their own starting to sleep. Pages turn, they sigh and snore. A thousand creatures, maybe more. Soft, sweet slumber suits them well. I'm not afraid of you. Because he's put them to sleep. Bravo. 
Above the moon cast bedtime beams. Beneath the stars the creatures dream. Your work is done, my mother said. I am proud of you. And look at she kisses him on top of his head. Quietly I close the book. We walk the woods and cross a brook. At last we reach the glowing grass and shuffle through the dew. Oh, they're headed home so he can go to sleep. All is silent, save one sound. Our steady clock ticks slowly round. I place some wood inside the stove to burn the whole night through. Oh, and he's tired. Mother tucks me into bed. Let's pick a book we haven't read. Now that every beast's asleep, I will read to you. Oh, and there you see, the beast is asleep. <laughs> I hope you so enjoyed that little story. Until next time with me, Miss Sheila. Keep shining your light bright. Bye for now.